good afternoon everyone or should I say evening it's getting well it's starting to get dark here anyhow I have my little miss grumpy face as I call her I haven't you know I think that's a lot of the reason why I haven't had that really strong bond with her because I haven't quite decided on an absolute name for her um, but anyways, as you can see, she's not in a very good mood. She's kind of rubbing her eyes. And as you see, she's always grumpy. Anyhow, I wanted to do a changing video with her. And I have a couple updates and announcements. And I also have a lot to share with you. First off, I want to apologize. I know I have been MI for uh, at least a week now, if not longer. And Believe me, I've been wanting to do videos. It just has been super crazy here. Um, I have had appointments galore. Um, actually, as you guys know, I homeschool my children. So <clears throat> we were due for um, our annual review um, or evaluation, I guess you call it. So I have been emailing and making phone calls. So that's just been super crazy. But anyways, hopefully I'm back and I can start pushing out some videos and I'm going to try to cram as much as I can in this video but whatever I can't I will come back um, first because I'm super excited as you stare at little Miss Grumpy here well first let me just say um, I did announce that I was selling her or I was putting fillers out there I kind of think that I don't want to sell her because after I made that video you know my stomach was hurting I just yeah, I didn't feel like I am actually ready for that. I do think, however, a lot of it is to do with the whole bonding thing is I haven't named her one. And two, she has really dark eyes. And I think that if I change her eyes to match her brothers, which is Theodore, Sonny, same artist made her, as you guys know, Tiffany. I think that if I change her eyes, it's going to make all the difference. And I did discuss this with the artist to make sure it would not offend her. And uh, she has my blessing, or I have her blessing, so that makes a, a difference for me. So that may be something I'll do in the future when I have the money to replace them. But anyways, uh, so that was an update I wanted to share with you. But I have got a package that I wanted to share with you guys today. And as you guys know, theme thursday the theme of this week was white or unicorns and i just thought this was very appropriate <laughs> um, but anyways this is a order that i um a custom order for myself and it's from jinx apparel and um i have been excited to get some clothing by her ever since i saw some clothing on uh that she had done on Stephanie Ortiz channel so yeah so I want to share that with you um, I think there is a couple things that uh, is still owed and there's a couple things I think I just ordered so there will be more to come but I am so excited I haven't looked I did cut open the bag just because I knew I had a lot to get through so all right so this one which is one of my favorites I think okay I got the three-piece set on this one because I just love Leo and Stitch. And this is more for the boy. So here's the hat. Love this. And it's more of a cotton feel. It's not like the, the usual spandex that she makes. But, I mean, look at even the stitching. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's just gorgeous. I can already tell. Look at the quality in this. Wow, so this is a newborn size. I mean, I mean, this is looks store bought. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this is newborn size. So it has the pants, the hat, and then I also purchased the rumper. And look at this, guys. I mean, the stitching is wow. Great. I mean, she really did a great job. I guess that would be the back. I guess it really doesn't matter. Or that could be the back. Either or. I love this set. So really, I can have one in a rumper and one with the, the pants and the hat if I wanted to. To have them matching. But I really like this set. And I guess the girls could wear this too. But I kind of leaned towards the boys for this one. 
because I got a lot of girl outfits this time. Okay, and then this one I had ordered. I had my new premium mine, which is my tank, Nicole. And this is the more like spandex material. And it's a little, oh, this is one of my favorites, Care Bears, if you guys can see how little this is. So this is a premium outfit. And look at the design of this one. Oh, I love this. I cannot wait to see this one on her. And she's going to be even more in a bad mood because I'm stacking clothes on her. What do you guys think? And then the hat to match. I love how she does this. Very cute. I mean, and look at the stitching, guys. I mean, I mean, even the different in the colors that she goes from pink to blue to yellow. I mean, she even took time in the detail of her stitching. I, I just really think that is wonderful that even the stitching has its own, um, I guess, art to it, I guess you would say. <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. All right, and so the next one, it's more of a stretchy cotton material. And this is some more Leo and Stitch, but I had to get it for the girl. And this was also for my Tink Nicole preemie outfit. Or if I ever get another preemie. Um, this was one of my personal favorites. Look at this, and I love how she actually did a border on this one. And I know that I got um, in late with getting this set so there wasn't much material left so what she had did is she just made the back pink but you know what I really you know you're not really going to see the back much so I really like that I didn't mind it at all and I just I love how the cuffs are the pink and the border of it so yeah I think I really do like this I kind of like how she did this to be honest um and she can get more use of the material too I feel so yeah I love this set. Oh, it is so cute. All right, so moving on. I think that's one of my favorites. And I did order, um, I think it was Zombie Unicorn, which I was really excited about, but there was something. She didn't like the smell of the material, which she has since reordered. So that was originally what I had ordered, but I had found another material that I loved and I was going to purchase separate. But since she had to reorder the other material, I got this one in the replace of it. But I will be getting um, the zombie unicorn in the future. It would have been great for this theme Thursday, but that's okay. I'm just excited that I'll be getting that later on. So, but what I did get, which I'm super excited about, and what I also love about this is, as you know, we don't like dark clothing on our reborns, but what is great about what she has in her material, I mean, look at this. This is My Little Pony, and it's black, which we are all scared to put on our reborns, but it is not lined in black, so that is awesome. And again, look at this stitching. Definitely some work went into these outfits and I can appreciate that as I probably think you guys can. So this right here is newborn. So I figured all my newborn girls can share this and there's the hat to match. I am just so excited about this clothing guys. I mean, I love it. So those are my outfits. Um, I found her on Instagram. Like I said, uh, everybody probably knows Stephanie. Um, she ordered a lot of outfits from her and that's how I first found out about her. And then I went searching on Instagram and I found her on Instagram. I think it is Jinx Apparel. Um, I'll try to either put that somewhere on the screen here or, um, it'll be down in the description. Um, but yeah, you need to go check her out. Her fabrics are just insanely neat. I mean, none of it gets old. And uh, if there's a fabric you like, I suggest that you jump in <laughs> so you don't miss out. Um, but yeah, she is very fair. She works great with you. I mean, she definitely listens to what you want. She responds quickly, and I love that. So thank you so much. And as you guys saw, how great that she put, I mean, how much work she put into that. And the outfits are great, and I'm so happy. So as you know, those will be some upcoming videos because I cannot wait to try those on them. Okay, so what I did want to share is I did, um, I have been challenged by Jenny. Um, we both exchanged 
pictures of an outfit that I guess it's expensive taste on a budget. Um, I had already done this with Ashley, but now me and Jenny's doing it. And I have had the most trouble trying to find a dress for her. And I got to tell you, I still have had no luck. Apparently she's already done, but she's waiting on me, which, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm still shopping on that. But why I was still, I was, went to Mother Goose and the other place was uh, Kitty Corner. Anyhow, uh, Mother Goose, I decided to pick up a couple things while I was there. So I do want to share those with you. This is a newborn, has a ruffle butt. And look at this little kitty. And it's very petite, so it'll be good for my petite newborns. And I think I, yeah, 350 is all I paid for that. How cute is that? And then um, this was very simple but very nice. Just a nice little onesie. And I love how it has like that dually material on the top there. Very cute. And it's white with the bright orange little flowers. And I only paid $2 for this. I really like that and this is very much for theme Thursday unicorns so it just says magical like a unicorn and it's just the t-shirt it didn't have anything that went with it but I thought I can pair it up with pretty much anything and uh, 225 is what I paid for that I think a little much for an okie dokie t-shirt but it's still it looks brand new so I was okay with it now this next one is newborn but I think I'm not positive till I try it on I think it might fit Nicole my preemie tink because it is so tiny maybe it's been washed and shrunk I'm not sure but as you see look how tiny the diaper cover is I mean it's look how little like the palm of my hand so this may fit her and uh, that would be awesome if it does. I do need to put some wrinkle spray on it. But I thought this was super cute. It has the teal, orange, and hearts all over it. And uh, yeah, I paid $3 for this one. And then they had two of these. It was so funny. They had two exact um, of these. And one was $3.50 and one was $3. Obviously, I picked the one for $3. Um, this one was a little bit more wrinkled, but... I can get the wrinkles out, so no problem. And it's white with baby blue polka dots all over it. And it's like a, a full piece, but it kind of has like a skirt over it. And it's pink whales squirting out the uh, blue hearts. I thought it was really cute. And that's newborn as well. And also, my daughter stayed at a friend of hers last weekend. And I've been meaning to share this with you. Um, she went yard selling and she picked me up a few outfits. And I thought that was super sweet of her. I actually had this outfit before, and it did come with a cardigan, um, but she did not get that, and that's okay. I do have to wash. The, some of it I did wash, and I'll show you what that is, but I got this outfit, newborn, very cute. And then she found this very cute, cute mini yellow outfit, and it's mini laying on her stomach, <laughs> and it says Daddy's Little Beauty on it, and it has this really adorable little tutu uh, diaper cover. It's kind of like a skirt. I believe this is three months, so that's going to be very cute. And then she also found some mini onesie, and it says, I'm too cute. So I thought that was cute. Now that's also three months. And this one is super adorable because you guys know how I love my zebra stripes. And it's mini with the background black and white zebra stripes and the bib to match. And then she found this uh, sleeper nightgown. Very pretty, and it's from Little Me, and it's 0 to 3, and I thought this was really nice. I did wash this. It did look a little dirty, so I did wash that. And then, which I definitely want to put on one of the girls, which it's actually going to have to go on Abigail because it's 6 to 9 months, but I think it will fit her, and it's super adorable. And I did try to wash it because I found a mustard stain on it, which was so sad because, wait till you see this. And it's from um, Made With Love, early days, six to nine months. But look at this, how beautiful is this material. It's white with different color stars. And if you look at the skirt of it, we have unicorns. We have a little fairy with stars. And it's kind of like tie-dyed uh, pink, purple, 
teal and it's just it's beautiful and there was a little couple drops of mustard like right here you can kind of maybe faintly see it but I got most of that out I'm so excited and then down here was a huge squirt of it and you can see a little bit of it and it was super bright um, I did put stain remover on it for several hours and I washed it twice and that's about as good as it's going to get probably if I wouldn't have pointed it out you probably would not have noticed it but yeah just in case I put them on it and they're like hey there's stains on it I did want to point that out but I don't care it is super pretty and I know that it's clean so I'm going to put this on Abigail later I cannot wait and I thought it was just so nice of my daughter to go yard selling and thinking of me I thought that was so nice of her <clears throat> and she also found this which was really nice and this is also I think it's I think hold on let me see this is early days as well and it's three to six months so this might be Kayla might be able to wear this um, but look how beautiful it's just simple and white this would have been great for this theme Thursday as well and uh, it just has that uh, stitched or uh, dually look I guess dress and it does have the diaper cover to match and this did not have any stains on it but I did wash it and I just think it's very beautiful and I thought um, you know, maybe Kayla could fit this possibly for Theme Thursday, but we'll see. Even though I'm going to be a day late on that, of course I always am. And also, the announcement that I have is, um, as you guys know, I was reborn expecting, but as of the day before yesterday, my baby girl was sent out. She's coming all the way from Bulgaria, so I'm super excited about that. So I did want to pick up her, pick her up a few things. Um, first, let me show you this. This was not for her. This is just a newborn size, and I just thought it was super cute. I actually got this at um, JC's Pennies when I was looking for the dress for Jenny, um, but I had to get it. So cute. So I found that, but I did pick these up for the new baby. These super cute little kitty shoes. How adorable are those? <laughs> super cute. And then this, which here's the size. Three months. So she's a little bit bigger of a baby. So this gray with different color polka dots. It has a little kitty chasing butterflies. I thought this was super adorable. Um, and then this I got at Ross. And I just thought it was really cute. It has this little furry mustard little girl and it's stripe it with little gold hearts white background and then this little peach diaper or it's actually like shorts and I thought it was really cute and this is actually Carter's and this one I think is going to be the outfit I'll change her into when she gets here because I just really love it it's simple but it's stripes it's peach pink and baby blue and white stripes that go down and I love this like I'm not sure what you call this like little fringe not necessarily fringe, but it's, um, not sure what you call it, <laughs> but it's really cute and it's peach, uh, some kind of, um, different string material. I don't know if you can see. Please comment what that would be called. I cannot believe I'm having a brain fart about that, but anyways, I really love how this looks and I believe this is also, yes, this is also Carter's three months. And I got this at JC Pennies too. So, okay, that's all I have to share for the moment. So, before I run out of time, which I don't think I have too much time left, so I may have to change her off camera. But let me go ahead and show you what I wanted to put on her. And of course, it's going to be for Theme Thursday, which is this cute child of mine, Carter's outfit. And then, if you just briefly look at it, you would never know that there was unicorns in it. But if you look very closely, you can see unicorns all through it. So, yes, this would be her little theme Thursday dress. And has the little pink and white polka dotted bloomers or diaper cover as you call it. And then I'm not sure on the headband. I'm going to try a couple different ones. But I had, well, let me put this back. I had just yellow that could possibly match. I also had this white and yellow that I thought would be cute. And then I did make this one. This was a clip-on barrette. And then I found a small bow yellow. I did put tape on it because I didn't want to mark up the headband or her head for that matter. 
and I just clipped it onto the headband. So I'm wondering if that would work. I'm not sure, but I will try it on and let you know how it works. If it works, it will be on her. But I thought it would be cute, a little unicorn. Okay, so I'm going to pause you because I don't have many minutes left. Oh, and these were the socks that I was going to put to pair with, with the dress. I thought it would match. And then also a cute little pacifier. So I'm going to pause you so I can dress her, and then I'll be right back to show you what she looks like. I would do it on camera, but I'm running out of time, so that's not going to be able to happen. So I'll be right back. Really quick, I just wanted to show you how adorable she is just in her little white onesie. I mean, look at her details. And this is why once I made that video about possibly selling her, I just, yeah, I couldn't do it. I mean, look at this gorgeous baby. She is just, I love her hair. I mean, like I said, it it really looks realistic and even though she has the grumpiest face it's also the sweetest face and I love her little piece all right so I'm a dresser I'll be right back I just had to show you how adorable her little details are even though she's showing a little bit of her cloth there she is and also too because I haven't came up with the perfect name for her yet if you guys have any suggestions on what you think she looks like Please leave those down in the comments. I would highly appreciate it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here she is. She's all dressed. I'm sorry that it's getting dark. So her true colors are not coming through as good. But um, she is super cute. I think this dress is so adorable. So I decided on just the plain yellow bow. Um, the one that I tried, it was sticking out way too much. It did not look right. Um, this one actually looked pretty cute, so I wanted to show it to you, so I don't know. I wish you guys could answer me, but that's not going to be an option. But um, <clears throat> I think really either one is super cute. But I will say, you know, as I was sitting here dressing her, I still think, and I, and I know I announced this before, you know, the name that I came up closest for her is Ariana. And, I, you know, I still think I like Ariana. So let me, you know, let me know what you guys think. Or if you think you have something better than that. Um, but for now, I do like Ariana. So I'm going to call her that because I hate just calling her Miss Grumpy Face. Because maybe that's why she keeps her face so grumpy. Because Mommy just calls her that. So there's that headband. I think it is super cute, but it does cover a lot of her painted hair. So I thought that this one was probably the cutest on her. Just so... It doesn't cover so much of her painted hair is kind of why I decided on that one. Because I think she has the most beautiful painted hair ever. So there she is. And um, let me see if I can bring her a little closer so you can see how beautiful she is. And she also has her little unicorn pillow in the background. Look at that face. See, and I just think her eyes are just super dark. And I think once... I want her to have her brother's eyes, which are those topaz green eyes. And I just think she would be super adorable with the same type of eyes. But there's Ariana. Well, for now, Ariana. <laughs> and she's looking super cute, even though she's super grumpy. But there she is in her unicorn outfit. And... So, yeah, I've been trying to participate in Theme Thursday, which is usually a big deal for me around here because I just never have time to do it. So I'm excited that I was able to this time. So I do have some unicorns to show you in the background, even though they're not coming through. And I got the big guy. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you go for now. Um, I only got a couple minutes before it cuts me off anyways. So hopefully I didn't talk your guys' head off too much and I probably left a few things out I wanted to share with you. But hopefully I can come back on tonight with uh, another couple more changings which I wanted to share with you. I have so many outfits I want to share. So hopefully I can do that later. Keep posted if you want to see more. And like I said, I'd love to hear input from you guys. So jot down any input that you have for me 
until the next video. See you later.